Hey guys, welcome to Board Smashing. Today, we're gonna be destroying the Mario Kart Live Kart by driving it on the highway. Let's begin. Okay, that execution was great, but now I have to avoid the consequences of that outcome. One dead and 24 injured in highway pileup. Huh. I guess I should have done a durability test instead. Well, 25 cars didn't do any damage to it, so we could still do that! First off, every time you start the game, it says to only play indoors. But what happens if you play outdoors? Whoa! It barely survived that! Test number two, the slash test. Can it still drive if all of its tires are slashed? Yes, it can! So there'll be no problems if you want to play this in a bad neighborhood. Wait! What are you doing? Test number three! The stairs test! Will it survive driving down some stairs? Okay, we need a higher speed. Even on the highest speed, it won't go down more than five steps. There we go! With some creative driving, I was able to get it all the way down to the ground. And it still works! Give me a second to create a course. Done! Next up, the fire test. Can it survive driving through fire multiple times? We gotta do the lava environment. Go, 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 go! Oh no! <laughs> Gotta take the burning gate away! Oh, this is such a fire hazard. We can still make it through gate number two! Don't worry, I have the holes nearby just in case. Come on, go through! Uh oh. I knew I should have chose 200cc! Put out, put out that fire. <laughs> hey. 
Oh, put it out that fire, <laughs> yes. Hello. Mario, my hero. Has a little bit of the cardboard stuck to him. <laughs> Why did I do that on my special edition Joy-Cons? Now there's melted plastic on my Joy-Cons. I'm a genius. And the damage on this, the front melted a bit on it, the side melted a bit on it. But as you can see, it still drives. So now that we know it's fireproof, you can now have a Bowser's Castle course in real life. I got a new second gate. There we go. We know that it can survive fire, but can it survive the opposite? A little bit of rain! 200cc, and of course, rain. Oh wait, forgot to put down the gate. There we go. Uh, why did I do that with this Joy-Con hand? <laughs> First lap done! Second lap done! Third lap, I'm just gonna take my time, taking my time to go through that gate, oh yeah. There we go! Oh, come on! Uh-oh. I'm stuck. So I have to go back through the gate. And go through one more time. Yes! New record! The gate's pretty waterproof. Ah, uh, here's our little champion. <laughs> he should be fine. But the water test isn't done yet. Give me a few minutes. We're going in deep, boys! Underwater! Three, two, one. still alive, and it's still connected. Uh-oh. No signal at all now, even though it's out of the water. Oh, there we go. Why is Mario sleeping? Is this boring to him? Is it still drivable? Can we do that one more time? Here. Oh! This thing is waterproof. Oh wait, it's blinking, which means it has no signal. Ah, uh, take it out, we'll regain signal. Yeah, <laughs> it's still working. Mario's sleeping again. He's like, this is no problem. Oh, oh, the light went out, the light went out. <laughs> I pushed the button and it's still flashing. What does flashing red mean? Oh, light's glitching out now. So the brake light red blinking and the other light off means it is starting up. It's been starting up for a while now, so yeah, I'm just gonna say it's broken. It couldn't handle more than two submersions. At least it's all clean now. This is false advertising. They clearly show the carts working underwater. Oh wait, I tried to turn it back on again and it worked. Oh wait, no. It shut off again. I didn't want to do this. I swear, but since it broke mid-test, I now have to continue the test with the Mario Kart Live Luigi set. I was planning on keeping this one, but oh well, I knew what I was in for when I signed up for this job. Did I mention that both of these sets are currently sold out everywhere, with Luigi being the rarer one? <laughs> what? You didn't need to know that information? Oh well. Let's continue the test. Test number six. 
The drag test. What would happen if it went faster than what it was supposed to do? Now this is the real Mario Kart Live. Uh-oh, the string is going longer than it's supposed to. Okay, problem should be fixed. Doing pretty well at low speeds. Let's kick it up a notch. Look at that hop! <laughs> now it's facing backwards. <laughs> Nothing. Ow. One more speed boost. Where'd it go? Uh-oh. Okay, I think that's a sign to stop. <laughs> Light's still blue, trying to reconnect. And it reconnected when I got close to the trunk. <laughs> All right, but will it still drive? Uh-oh, hmm, we gotta find some way to fix that tire. And there's two more tires that need fixing, but it was pretty easy. Okay, three tires that need fixing. All the tires need fixing. Yep, after fixing the tires, still drives perfectly. There's still one more thing I want to try here, though. Now that's Mario Kart Live! Test number seven! The ramp test. What would happen if you drove it off a ramp through a second story window like an action movie scene? Two hundred CC. Three, two, one, go. Three, two, one, go. Okay, Luigi needs a bit of help. Three, two, one. <laughs> oh, just realized he's still on the roof. Get off of there, mister. Hmm. Still drivable, so we're doing that again. Go, Luigi, go! Yes, finally, Luigi does something right. Didn't even go through the gate. Still drivable? 
Yes! But he no longer has a twin turbo engine, so the speed's gonna be affected. Next up is the head-on test. Now, the closest thing I have to another working RC car is this boosted board, which does 20 miles per hour, and this thing does three to four miles per hour, so should be a fair fight. Three, two, one. Honestly, I can't tell who won. I definitely lost because I forgot to start recording on the phone. So we gotta try that again. Three, two, one. <laughs> hmm, not too bad. I was expecting this part to come off. And look, it still drives. Yeah, barely. Test number nine. The car test. We don't want to pop a tire, so we're just gonna put it like this. Dead Mario can join the fun too. Uh, this is kind of sad. Two brothers look each other in the eye as they die together. Huh, it's not really that sad when it still works. Still drivable? Oh my god. Try number two. What the actual hell? Mario's doing okay. And Luigi's, like the camera got bent a bit, but it's still fully functional. The camera got bent enough that you can actually see some of the actual cart. Immersion breaking. At this point, I don't even care if I pop a tire or two. It's all or nothing now. Hear that? Now Luigi's stuck crashing forever in hell! But it's still connected. And the video's forever frozen too. And I found the reason. But will it still drive? Oh god, it's not driving anymore. Luigi forever getting rammed from behind. <laughs> this is hell for him. <laughs> he fell asleep. <laughs> The most ethical thing to do is to put him out of his misery. No good. He's still connected and can feel everything. That'll do. That'll do. And now. Test number 10, the final test, me.
Reality, when the blue shell hits. Hmm. I'd recommend waiting for Nintendo to make them more me-proof before buying them. And so with that, thank you guys for watching. Comment, like, and subscribe. Drive safely on the roads, or this will be you. And I'll see you guys later. Bye.